Welcome to another in our leadership series. I'm Alan Olson, Managing Partner of Greenstein, Rogoff Olson & Company. I'm here today with Bill Dalton. Bill Dalton is a leader in scouting. He began his professional scouting career in 1973 and has served as a scout executive for the San Francisco Bay Area Council since the fall of 2005. Bill knows what developing leaders is all about. He's most proud of his 10 former assistant executive scout directors who have gone on to become scout executives in their own councils across America. Bill, you and I are both involved in scouting and we understand the way that it helps to nurture young people starting at the age of seven when scouts enter into the Cub Scout program right. all the way to Eagle Scout program in which they have to acquire their Eagle rank by age 18. Okay, so there are people there today that are stealing the values in their youth that, that the world is all about money. Now, what would you say to the youth of today about how money relates into the leadership and life? Well, one of the things, Alan, is uh, <clears throat> the old clever saying is, I've been rich and I've been poor, but I'd rather be rich. I think it's clever, but it's really not, not what, uh, what life is all about, what we try to yeah. teach young people. Scouting is critical. What it teaches young people is, first of all, self-reliance. It, it teaches them self-reliance, and from self-reliance comes that, that confidence to be willing to take on challenges and take a leadership role. In addition, once you take a leadership role, you find that you're now engaged, and, and you're able to go forward and, and use skills that you may learn along the way and share them with others. You're able to also go ahead and understand that service is a strong component. So you, you have confidence, you have leadership, you have a commitment to service. Service meaning make it a better place when you're camping, make it a little better when you found it. That holds true for everything we do. Make it a little better than you found it, and that's critical. Uh, in terms of why is uh, money not the most important thing to value, we just I could look at myself personally. Uh, Ten years ago, I had a birth defect, and it was suddenly I had to have a new heart valve put in. Suddenly, health became a very important thing that I, I valued far more than I did before, something I took for granted. Health is critical. And in scouting, obviously, physical fitness is one of the things we talk about. So that really brought home the concept of uh, what do I value? I value health. What do we do in scouting? We teach physical fitness. Physical fitness that you can do for a lifetime. It's not when I played football when I was younger, you can do that. I played basketball when I was younger. You can, as you get older, those are things you don't do as much anymore, but you can continue to hike. You can continue to go out and enjoy nature. You can continue to do those things that keep you physically active. Okay. So those are, those are areas that I think, that, that's what I value. Uh, uh, just the confidence that comes from, from learning skills, from providing leadership, the willingness to be involved, the willingness to be a leader, and, uh, and then carry it through. Okay. So as the late leader of the Boy Scout organization in the Bay Area, what would you say your greatest accomplishment is as a leader? I think probably is, for me, it's just watching volunteers grow. As I get a chance to go ahead and you see volunteers in action and you see people that, that work very hard at different, different careers during the day, but they have an opportunity now to, their a willingness, first of all, to be involved most often with their, with their sons or in our high school programs with sons and daughters and they're able to become, become leaders, they become uh, very, very comfortable with other children, with other people's children and they're able to go ahead and uh, provide the, that direction for these young people. That's great Bill. Now when were you first aware of your leadership potential? This is going to sound uh, the canned, but it's true. Uh, about eight or nine years old, when I was a Cub Scout, and I was uh, selected to be the denner. And a denner in a Cub Scout mm -hmm. pack is a member of that Cub Scout den to uh, to assist and provide some leadership. And from that, I went uh, just at, at a very early age, grammar school, and you know, class president, and the school mayor in Chicago. We had mayor of the school. Mm -hmm. it was a school mayor, and then terms of church, leading a church youth group, uh, president of the church youth group, and then the leadership kind of went on into scouting and, and then professionally into scouting. And as a professional in the Boy Scouts, I've accepted the role of, uh, and been kind enough to be offered the role of, uh, of executive director of a number of Boy Scout councils. 
Thank you, Bill. I know that the Scouts have played a, a tremendous role in developing leaders of tomorrow. Yes. And I myself am a benefactor of being an Eagle Scout. Well, congratulations. So, thank you for all that you do for the scouting organization and helping the youth of today. Well, and thank, thank you for all you do, not, not just for scouting, but for the community at large. And you do, you do an awful lot, and you make us uh, all better. And you're a, another example of Eagle Scouts that we're all so proud of. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This has been another in our Leaders of Tomorrow series. I'm Alan Olson.